Hi, Ben here from Pest Protection Plus. And after 15 years in the rodent control world, we've learned that mice and rats are smarter than you think. We're here to bring you transparent advice, real world experience, and a bunch of research that we've learned so that we can keep you one step ahead to control mouse and rat infestations and provide helpful prevention tips. Today, we are talking about one of our favorite topics, the ultrasonic rodent repellents, hyper hoax. This is an extremely popular subject amongst everybody that's in rodent control. So we decided to come back and do another video because we've done some more research and surprise, surprise, they do not work. So let's start by going over what the promise is with regards to the ultrasonic rodent repellents. I have here with me the key marketing points that are on the box or on the sales description when you go to purchase them. And they sound great. And there's high frequency sound waves that effectively repel rodents from protected areas. For indoor use, simply plug it in. Very easy to use. They're kinder than traps, safer than poisons, and there's no dead rodents to dispose of. Sounds amazing. Reduction in rodent activity should occur within six to 10 days. Very fast results. And the lifespan of one of these is five to seven years. The idea is that when you plug this in, there's an ultrasonic sound that humans don't hear, but mice do, they don't like it, and it repels them to run away and stay out. So not only are they saying you can get rid of an infestation, leaving them plugged in will continue to prevent any mice from coming in. They sounded great, lots of people tested them. We never had great results, so we were very transparent about that. So after our other video, we continued to test them, had poor results, and we dug a bit deeper, and we're gonna go over what we found. So now we're gonna go over why these devices do not work. Again, having them plugged in, noise emits, mice run away, rats run away, there's no rodents. We noticed that maybe there would be the odd time where these were installed and people didn't see mice. However, when we had put bait stations in, we would continue to get feeding regardless of having them or not. So when we looked it up, there was actually quite a bit of research that was already done. There's some universities such as Kansas State, the University of Nebraska, as well as Cornell. They did a very deep dive and what they noticed were all consistent that over the long term, they do not work. Some of the universities had said there was a little bit at the beginning that may have a pattern disrupt on the mice and rats, but they very quickly adapted. Another university tested the claim where there's different ultrasonic waves at random, so they never adapt and get used to it. That did not work and it was debunked. And one of the universities went as far as putting a claim out with the FDA, challenging that these devices should be taken off the shelves because they do not work and they are being marketed the wrong way. So, like we always say, now do not use these rodent repellents, they do not work. What we'll go over next is steps that you can take to actively get rid and prevent an infestation. So now that we know that these ultrasonic rodent repellent devices don't work, don't worry, we're gonna go over how you can get rid of an infestation and prevent rodent infestations effectively. The best thing to do, like anything, is prevention. So the first thing is looking for cracks and crevices around the outside and inside of the home and sealing them up, things like caulking, steel wool, or any other building material that rats and mice can't chew through. If they can't get in, they can't nest, they can't breed, you're going to prevent the infestation. The areas you always wanna check around, which we go over in our other videos, are the cracks and crevices around brick, anywhere that there's caulking around windows, water lines, gas lines, things like that, make sure that it's sealed, and weather stripping at the bottom of doors because mice and rats love to chew that rubber. So making sure everything is secure is your first step. If you have an active infestation, we find bait stations are the most effective to drop the population down fast. They're locked down, they're safe for pets, they're safe for children, the mice feed off of the bait and leave, so generally you do not have to deal with any dead rodents. 
You can also continue to check the bait for feeding so you'll know in the long term if there is any activity without having to find droppings. You can also use any sort of snap trap and other physical removal device to actually capture, eliminate, and remove the mice. By doing this, not only are you certain you've removed them, but you've put the prevention in place so you're not gonna have an infestation occur again. The other low hanging fruit that everybody should do is just making sure that their food is tightly sealed and there's nothing that is gonna draw mice or rats into your home. To recap what we talked about today is the promises that the companies making these rodent repellent devices, what they claim, the research papers and in field experience of why they don't work, along with not only how to eliminate an infestation, but also how to prevent an infestation. We would love to hear anybody's experience of any mouse or rat control issue that you've dealt with, any experience with these ultrasonic devices, and any tips or tricks that you have, please put it in the comments. Below in the video, we will put links to the research studies that we referenced in today's video. So if you want to dig in deeper, you can take a look and see the results for yourself. What we've also done for you is we've put together a yearly rodent prevention calendar for all homeowners. What it does is it breaks all of the seasons down by month and it tells you what you should be doing to ensure that your home or dwelling is totally secure from rodents so you can stay rodent free. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social media channels. Please go to the link below and you can download our free pest prevention calendar that's designed to keep your home safe from all pests seasonally.